Did you know it used to be illegal to be ugly? It seems absurd, of course, but that's what happened in the United States, which led to the diffusion of freak shows. The law didn't determine ugly people according to nowadays normal standards, you know, good looking and great smile. It was instead used as a method for discrimination. It was enough to be extremely fat, differently abled, mutilated, or have some kind of physical deformity. Those people couldn't show themselves in public, and whoever violated the law ended up in jail. This all started back in 1867. The first to be arrested on this charge was a war veteran, Martin Oates. He was only walking on a public street when he was taken into custody. It's documented by the Francisco Morning Call newspaper who wrote, a half-demented fellow named Martin Oates who had been stricken down with paralysis, leaving him a perfect wreck. But why was this law approved to begin with? The law was initially intended to remove the people who used fake handicaps to gain sympathy from others from the streets. But this affected people with real disabilities as well. And how can you get a job if you're not allowed to be seen outside? And if you can't get a job, how do you make a living? A person could get around the law if they had a disability and were shown in public as part of a demonstration. By being discriminated against by society and unable to get a normal job, many of them started to perform in circuses and freak shows. These shows were frequently dehumanizing for the performers, and not every performer was treated well or even fairly compensated in those days. But that was the only way. The industrial boom of the late 19th century led millions of migrants from the world over to leave farming life and head to the city to seek a better life. And local governments wanted to force people into almshouses and sanitariums, which were being built all over the country to fight the downside of the industrial revolution, poverty, disease, crime, and overpopulation. Ugly laws were used to arrest people who couldn't go to almshouses and sanitariums to avoid them staying on the streets. Absurd as this may seem, this law was once again applied in 1974 in Omaha, Nebraska, when a man was arrested after being accused of being ugly after walking in a public place. But the accusation was rejected by the public prosecutor, who did not want to apply the absurd law that was more than a century old. Also, the actual word ugly was not present anywhere in those laws, but it was used by activists in the 70s to put pressure on the ruling class. The activist organizations highlighted the lack of opportunities for the differently abled and their high unemployment rate due to their inadequate education and societal prejudice. Finally, in 1990, the Disabilities Act was signed by President George H.W. Bush that gave equal opportunities and access to public spaces to everyone, eliminating any form of discrimination based on physical appearance. In reality, however, there is still much more to be done, and activists are still fighting for everyone to have the same rights and access to all public spaces. As recently as 2004, in Camden, England, a beggar who had a wound on his neck had been charged with antisocial behavior and has been barred from returning to the town. Yes, there is still much more to be done.